a try. All right, well, it's a crackdown at the breakdown. Stephen Halls, let's run through a few of them. You've been watching closely and chatting with a few of the refs around Super Rugby, and what have you found? Yeah, we had a little chat yesterday with the referees, and I think we, at the start of each season, we see referees really policing certain things. And in round one, we saw David Pocock sin-binned eventually for repeated infringements because, one, he, there was no clear release in his work at the breakdown, so the tackler has to show hands off before he can have a crack at the ball. And on this occasion, the Brumbies were pretty rolled up. Steve Moore thought they were getting an unfair treatment. But in review in this game, Andrew Lees was pretty correct. There was no clear release. So really good. It sort of you know sets a few standards and opens up the, the game for um, the, the play to continue. And I always like to see the benefit of the doubt given towards the attacking side. But I think later in the season, we, we're falling back into old habits where we're allowing players to look as though they're going to steal a football. But in reality, I think we see Pat Leapa here come in. If you just pause right there, his head's down. He's just locking locking his arms around like a bear hug type scenario there. He's never stealing that football, but he's trying to give the impression to the referee that he is. And unfortunately, look, his head's down. His, his hands are there. He's just, he's just surviving there, but he gets a penalty. So I think we've got to start looking at people that are genuinely trying to steal the ball and rewarding that because it's not an easy thing to do. You look at the greats of the game, George Smith, McCall, these guys, they could genuinely steal the football and not play for penalties. Something that I think Liam Gill does well. And Matty Tamil, even here, you see for a split second, Matty Tamil locks down, but then I think he realises he's got to get the ball out here and play because this is a good chance to, to get advantage. So Matty Tamil gets it out, play goes on. Unfortunately, the Brumbies don't take advantage of this. But the next one, again, speaking to you before, you've often said that you'd rather see your team... Yeah, well, this is an interesting one, I think, with Liam Gill. I mean, I want to see him lock down on that ball and uh, and force the penalty deep in uh, in the Reds' territory. I want to see him pull away, but uh, you have a different opinion. Yeah, I don't I don't like seeing penalties blown for sake. And I love Liam Gill's approach. Here. He's always looking to get out and get the ball alive, and that's when you're going to catch guys off guard. Doesn't matter if you're 90 or 30 or 10 metres away from the opposition's try line. You want to get them off guard when they've got a lot of guys in and around the ruck. It's the hardest time to defend when people are all over the place. So I like to see players like Liam Gill, that skill level, that skill set. Um, oh, rewarded as opposed to the you know old habits that Paddy Leapa's getting himself into down there. Well, there you go. A crackdown at the breakdown with Stephen Hoyles, mate. Thank you very much for reviewing that for us. Thank you.